How do you win an argument? Well, that's kind of a trick question because no one wins an argument except if you're an attorney in a court of law and you have a judge or a jury telling you who won. The rest of us, you lose when you argue, even though it may look like you won. I really love this quote from Gay Hendricks and his book, The Big Leap, which is, arguments are caused by two people racing to occupy the victim position in the relationship. Pretty powerful. So the next time you feel like arguing or you're getting pulled into an argument, think to yourself, do I want to be the victim? Probably not. So what to do instead? I suggest one really great idea is to think about what your intention is. Now, I define that intention by what is it that you want that you do not have because of this issue that you want to argue about that is not dependent on the other person. So a very simple example, say I want to leave on time and I'm having this argument with somebody that's always dragging me behind. So my intention, what I want, is I want to be in control of my time frame and I want to show up on time to where I'm going and not be hurried. So that's what you work with. Now, that may or may not include the other person, but you just get clear on what it is that you want and then you problem solve from there. I'm Karen Valencic. I am the founder and author of Spiral Impact, The Power to Get It Done with Grace. And I work with people all the time in terms of helping them master conflict and be in power together. That's it this time. Thanks for tuning in.